Hermosa Beach has voted to institute a land value recapture. So we're gonna get into exactly what that means right now. So hi, I'm Garrison Comstock with Garrison Team Real Estate here in the South Bay. And you may have seen in the news over the past couple of weeks that Hermosa Beach voted a land value recapture. If you haven't heard, we have a housing shortage in California. So California has come down and told every single city that they need to produce a certain amount of affordable housing units. Now, affordable housing units are defined as homes where the occupants do not have to pay more than 30% of their monthly income on rent and utilities. This valuation changes from city to city because it is based upon median income, but it basically takes a development or takes a property and limits it where you can only buy, sell, or rent that property to individuals that fit a certain criteria of making less than normal income because of the fact that these homes can only be bought by certain individuals that meet certain requirements the prices are artificially kept low by the government in order to keep them affordable for those individuals this happens for both single families for condos for townhomes for large unit buildings for everything affordable housing is a measure to help individuals who cannot afford regular housing buy, sell, rent properties. So the reason we don't have that many in this area is because most developers, when they buy homes in the area, they develop them to their highest and best use. They try to make the most money off of them. And that recently has been bigger 3,000, 4,000 square foot houses, or taking a lot and splitting it into two townhomes, townhomes being anywhere from 2,000 to 3,500 square feet apiece, something like that, where they come out and they come to market and they're multiple millions of dollars. They're clearly not affordable housing. Now, Hermosa Beach is really small, so they're in a pickle right now because the state of California is telling them that, hey, you need X amount of affordable housing or else, and the or else is builder's remedy. So builder's remedy is a legal term that many builders have been using in California to kind of force cities to allow them to build whatever they want. So if Hermosa Beach is out of compliance in terms of the offering affordable housing, then builders could come into Hermosa Beach and bypass zoning laws and build whatever they want, wherever they want. For example, in an admittedly unlikely scenario, imagine a builder buying 10 homes that are next to each other in the middle of Hermosa Beach and then deciding to bulldoze all of them and build a manufacturing plant in the middle of a block. So on all sides, you've got houses, and then now those houses are right next door to a manufacturing plant. Now that's zoning, right? Right now, you're not allowed to build manufacturing on residential zoned properties. However, Builder's Remedy could allow something like that to happen. So in order to protect against that, Her Hermosa Beach needs to offer a certain amount of affordable units. The problem is Hermosa Beach is really small and there's not much to develop. And even to develop it, you have to pay a lot to get the land in order to develop it. And then if you pay a lot to get the land, then if you build it, you have to offer it at a lower price as affordable housing. So it's really, really difficult to get this done in Hermosa Beach. So they're in a little bit of a pickle. Now, what they've chosen to do here is incentivize developers to build affordable housing by instituting basically a tax on homes that are built that are not affordable housing. Therefore, Hermosa Beach can then use that money to build its own affordable housing. So this tax comes out as follows. It's if you were to build one to four units of non-affordable housing, you would get taxed $76 a square foot. To put that in numbers for you, if you were to build two units at 3,000 square foot a unit, so that's 6,000 square feet. So you're building two homes, 3,000 square feet each, 6,000 square feet. The $76 tax on that per square foot will come out to $456,000. So almost half a million dollars on taxes to build your two 3,000 square foot units. And it gets even worse if you want to build five plus units. If you were to say buy a couple lots and we're trying to build five plus units on them, you would then be charged $104 per square foot. So if we took an easy version of that and said you wanted to build five 2,000 square foot units, which are relatively small, then you would have 10,000 square feet to build. 10,000 square feet to build at $104 a square foot is $1,040,000 in fees you would pay to the city of Hermosa Beach. We know that this is an incentive to get builders to build affordable housing because if builders choose to build affordable housing instead of regular housing, 
then those builders would not have to pay those taxes. So in those two scenarios, the project would be $450,000 cheaper on one and $1,040,000 cheaper on the other. So don't worry too much about your house because this is only done in certain zones. If you can see here, here's a map of the proposed zone changes that was voted on in Hermosa Beach. And all of the properties that are outlined in black here, mostly along Pier Avenue and then along Aviation and then some along Pacific Coast Highway were identified as older developments that are ripe for renovation and lots that could be used for this. So if you did want to redevelop one of these lots that are outlined in black, then those lots would be the ones that are subject to this tax. So if you're trying to redevelop your house or something like that, you don't have to worry about this tax. So this is the map to go off of. Got this off of uh, the Hermosa Beach, City of Hermosa Beach site. Thank you very much. So Hermosa Beach is small and California says we need more affordable housing in Hermosa Beach. And the City of Hermosa Beach doesn't necessarily have the resources to buy and produce affordable housing. So what they're doing is they're choosing to incentivize builders to build affordable housing in terms of giving them high fees on non-affordable housing builds. So very interesting what's going on here. We'll see how this progresses moving forward. This is all to avoid builder's remedy, which is something that's been going on on many cities around the state. I should have another video coming up on builder's remedy here soon, especially on what's going on currently in the city of Redondo Beach with regards to builder's remedy. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and you'll see that. What do you think? about the new land value recapture laws in Hermosa Beach. Please post below, let us know, and we'll see you next time.